Scarlowi and Reneus work on the railway that weaves round lakes and along mountain sides. Their coaches are filled with visitors, and the engines are proud to run the line come rain or shine. The engines will never let their passengers down, but they are old and they tire more easily. Their drivers understood this and they spoke kindly to them. There's more than enough work for both of you on this railway. The manager is sending two more engines to help us run the line. Scarloe and Reneus were pleased with this news and promised to give the new engines a big welcome. When Sir Handel and Peter Sam arrived, they found they had much to learn. What a small shed, grunted Sir Handel. This won't do at all. We're much too good for this old shack. I think it's nice, said Peter Sam. Huh, replied Sir Handel. What's that rubbish? Shh, said Peter Sam. That's Scarloe. He's famous. And then he whispered to Scarloe. I'm sorry, Scarloe. Sir Handel's upset now, but he's quite nice, really. Scarloe felt sorry for Peter Sam. Now, Sir Handel, said the fireman, I will get you ready for work. I'm tired. Let Peter Sam go. He'd love it. No, you're first. Sir Handel puffed away to fetch his coaches. He didn't like the look of them at all. Whatever next? Those aren't coaches, they're cattle cars. Woo! screamed the coaches. What a horrid engine! It's not what I'm used to, clanked Sir Handel. He rolled to the platform just as Gordon arrived. Hello, who are you? I'm Gordon. Who are you? I'm Sir Handel. I've heard of you. You're an express engine. So am I. But I'm used to new coaches, not these cattle cars. Do you have new coaches? I see you do. We must have a chat. Sorry I can't stop. We must keep time, you know. Gordon was speechless. Clouds of steam filled the air as Sir Handel huffed and puffed along the line. He was still cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some cars from the quarry. Cars, snorted Sir Handel. Cars, I won't. So there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. Told you, said Sir Handel. By the time workmen came to rescue him, Sir Handel was feeling rather silly. To make matters worse, there stood Sir Topham Hatt. His message to Sir Handel was brief and blunt. I shall talk to you later. Then he and the fireman left with Peter Sam. Sir Handel felt sillier still. Come on, said his driver. Let's get you back on the rails. When Sir Handel crawled home, he found Sir Topham Hatt waiting for him. You're a very naughty engine. I hope I can trust you to behave when you next come out of this shed. After hearing that, I'm sure Sir Handel will. 